know that annually the city trims about 2,000 trees around town? Today, I'm at Ialton Court and we're going to find out how and why we do this. This is Steve Bow, the city forester for Cottage Grove. What exactly does a city forester do? Well, I manage the urban forest, the trees, and also take care of uh, citizens' concerns about their trees and other uh, landscape issues. Which trees does the city trim and why? We trim uh, the boulevard trees, which are placed within the first 15 feet from the curb. Uh, we prune them for health and safety of uh, the public and the homeowner. How long does it take to trim all those trees? It takes almost a year. What's the first thing we need to do? First thing I need to do is show you how to operate the bucket truck. All right. All right, Kathy, what the first thing that we got to do to operate the bucket truck is to be safe. So we want to clip into our, our iron here. Okay. Now the operation of the joystick. This bucket truck is a two boom system, so we got two different booms are operating with this joystick. When you want to move the back boom, the main boom, it is controlled when you push it forward and back and squeeze the trigger at the same time. Okay. When you want to operate the close boom, you want to squeeze the trigger and push up or down. There's also a safety feature in there in case anything happens. There's a hydraulic stop where we'll, we won't be able to move anymore. And then there's also an emergency power in case we lose power. That'll give us enough time to get down. All right, Kathy, before we go up in the bucket, I thought I'd show you a couple of the tools of the trade. Since we do a lot of the smaller trees, we don't need the big chainsaws. We use just a lot of hand saws. Sure. We get this pole saw. We get the extended hand pruner. We also use a hand saw. And we also use a hand pruner. All right, Kathy, let's grab our tools and get in the bucket. OK. Okay, Steve, now that we're up in the bucket and we're in position to cut our tree, what's my first step? Well, with this branch and the size of it, we're going to make three cuts. Uh, the first cut's going to be an undercut, so the, the branch, when it, when it starts to break, it doesn't tear towards the trunk of the tree. We're going to start here, we're going to find out where we're going to go, and then we want to adjust our bottom cut about an inch or two out from that. So we'll make a small incision, we'll go in about a third of the way, and that'll stop the, the branch from ripping into the other parts. Okay. So if you want to finish the top cut, we could be good to go. All right. All right. All right, Kathy, our most important cut here. This is the one closest to the tree and it can do the most damage. So what we want to do is look where the branch and the main stem of the tree come together. Um, and this is in this section right here. Okay. So we don't want to cut any closer to the main stem because then we actually damage this tissue instead of just cutting the branch off. Okay. So we're going to do the same philosophy as we did on the last cut. We're going to notch this part up top, notice where, we're, where we want to cut through and we're going to still make that small incision on the bottom. And since we marked our top, you should be able to finish. <laughs> Is it a two hour show? Or a... So Steve, what are we going to do with all these branches? Well, we're going to feed them into the chipper and uh, mulch them up. What do you do with all the mulch? We bring it down to the second compost where Rumka has a compost site and we'll kind of stockpile them and then in the summer when the summer help comes we'll uh, use it to mulch around trees in uh, parks and natural areas. Why did you decide to be a city forester? I like the idea of the challenge of trying to maintain uh, all these city trees and I like the look of an old growth tree. Um, I guess you can call me a tree hugger. Okay. What's the hardest part about your job? You know, trying to uh, get everything done on time and make everybody happy. There's a good, uh, good balance between getting things done and making people happy, and sometimes you can't please everybody. <laughs> okay, well let's get started on mulching all these trees here. All right. I can see why this can be a dirty job. And there's a lot of talk about the emerald ash borer, which I guess is an insect that infects ash trees. What's the city doing about that? 
We're doing a combination of things. We're going to be removing some trees and treating others. We're going to be treating about two thirds of the trees and removing about a third. Also, we're going to be setting up some purple traps to see if we can't find the beetle in the city. If a resident has a dead or diseased boulevard tree, what should they do? They can do two things. One, they can go to the city's website and report it there, or they can call the office and make out a work order, 458-2808, and we can make a work order and I can come out and take a look at it. Is there anything else you'd like residents to know? Yeah, there is a few things. Uh, in the spring, you usually get uh, the contractors to come through and trim the boulevard trees, the larger trees. Usually there's a, a notice in the bulletin just to let residents know that contractors are coming through. So it would be nice if uh, people could remove Christmas lights so they don't run into those. Also, the trees in our city are just like the sewers, pipes, uh, any other infrastructure that we have in the city. And they're, they're important to the life in Cottage Grove, and that's why we like to take care of them. Thanks for joining me today, Steve. I was glad to have you. Until next time, I'm Kathy Moore.